Today on Short Film Focus, we look at your character's journey, development, or as the industry likes to call it, the character arc. For the purposes of this video, when I talk about character, I'm referring to the protagonist of the story. Now, for those who don't know, a protagonist is the central character or the hero of a story. One of the first questions that I generally ask my students in a screenwriting class is not, what is your story about? I always ask them, who is your story about? The protagonist is always the most important character in your story because this is the character that your audience identifies with, follows and roots for during the course of the film. This is who your story is about. And the protagonist always has an external goal that they want to achieve in the film, something tangible and physical, a want, a goal, a desire. But they also have an internal flaw that they are grappling with, something that is holding them back from the goal. And this internal flaw usually teams up with the antagonist or bad guy and prevents the protagonist from achieving the goal. Remember, the antagonist wants exactly the same thing as the protagonist, but this character has a completely opposite moral worldview. The protagonist needs to go through a change during the course of the film before they can overcome and conquer the antagonist and achieve their goal. Essentially, the protagonist needs to realize their internal flaw and overcome it before they can defeat the antagonist and achieve the goal. Let's look at The Exorcist as a film example. In the film, Father Damien Karras is the protagonist. He is a priest who is struggling with his faith. When his mother dies, he completely loses his faith. And him losing his faith is his internal flaw. He is a priest without faith in God. This ties in with his external goal, which is to save the sick girl, Reagan. Because he is a priest who has lost his faith in God, he therefore doesn't believe in God and he doesn't believe in the devil, which subsequently means that he couldn't possibly believe that Reagan is in fact possessed by a demon. His character development or character arc deals with him having to find his faith again, find God again, and therefore use that faith and God to combat the demon and save Reagan. He essentially realizes that the demon is real and the only way to combat it and save Reagan is through his faith. I won't give the ending of the film away for those who haven't seen it. So when you are conceptualizing your story, decide who is your story about. Then decide what is the protagonist's external goal in the story and what is the best internal flaw to hold them back from this external goal. Father Karras is a great example of a protagonist who is being held back from their external goal by a very relevant internal flaw that creates a great deal of conflict for the character. Conflict is extremely important because it is what drives the story. Conflict is what makes your audience sit forward in their seats. That concludes my very brief thoughts on the protagonist's journey or character arc. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on these aspects in the comments below. Tell me your approach to this aspect of the writing process in figuring out who your story is about. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a new video and hit that bell icon so you get them notifications. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram, which I will link below and comment on these platforms because I want to hear from you about the type of content you want to see on the channel. And until next week, remember, it all starts with a story.